So I'll take him because he's, he's close enough. See, I was willing to sell my aorta for a quarter, not knowing the value of its use to me. My arteries were so clogged with my will, it blocked the will of the Lord from flowing through me. So I thank Christ that his blood pressure gave this heart an attack that flatlined my obscured vision, put me flat on my back. Through my ignorance, he saw. So through my sternum, he saw. And cracked open my chest to transplant Psalms 51 and 10. And created in me a clean heart and renewed a right spirit within me. Amen. So now I fully understand. Better yet, I fully comprehend how much I need to wait for you. See, the bad thing is that I knew it wasn't him from the beginning. Because in the beginning was the word. And he didn't even sound or shine or shine like the sun. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, and all he could whisper was sweet, empty, nothing. Which at the end of the day meant nothing. nothing. He couldn't even pray when I needed him to. Asking him to fast would be absurd. So forget about being cleansed and washed with the water through the word. But I know you, my future love, you are already praying for me. Even never having met me. So let me assure you that I will wait for you. I will no longer date, socialize, or communicate with carbon copies of you to appease my boredom or to quench my thirsty desire I have for attention and short lived compliments from these sort of kind of. You know, the guy who's a sort of kind of right, but he's really sort of kind of wrong. His first name is Luke and his last name is Warren. Y'all know him. <laughs> <laughs> I won't settle for false companionship. I won't lay in the embrace of his arms attempting to find some closeness, but feeling so far, far yes, apart. Yes. Because all I want to do is be held. Mm-hmm. All I have to do is say, all I have to do is say no. No more almost sessions of almost coming close, passing mm-hmm. things and buying drinks, and I'm going to just flirt. Mm-hmm. But who flirts with the ideology of, can you tell me how much can I get away with mm-hmm. and still be saved? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No more. Mm-hmm. I'll stay in my bed alone and write poems about how I'm waiting for you. He won't even come close. Our fingers won't even interlock. We won't even exchange a breath. Because I have thoughts that I saved as in a file that God has only equipped you to open. Mm-hmm. I will no longer get weighted down from so-called friends and family talks about the concerns of my biological clock. When I serve the author of time, who is not subject to time, but I'm subject to him, he has the ability to stop, fast forward, pause, or rewind at any given time. So, if we can role play, you can be my Adam, and I will be your Sarah. You can be my Isaac, and I can be your Rebecca, a servant's answer prayer. I am bone of your bone, flesh of your flesh, made up of your rib. And once we meet, like electrons, I will be bound to your nucleus, a completely indivisible atom. We will even speak the same math. One plus one plus one equals three, which really equals one, because we have him. We were all created in his image. If you have the ability to reflect, project, and even detect the sun, if I were to explain what you look like, you shine like the sun of the sun. I will gain energy simply from the light that you shine on me. I would need you in order to complete my photosynthesis. I await your revelation because, again, from the Genesis, I will wait for you. And I will know you because when you speak, I will be reminded. Your ability to lead will remind me of Moses. Your faith will remind me of Abraham. Your confidence in God's word will remind me of Daniel. Your inspiration will remind me of Paul. Your attention to detail will remind me of David. Your heart for God will remind me of Noah. Your integrity will remind me of Joseph. And your ability to abandon your own will will remind me of the disciples. But your ability to love me selflessly and unconditionally will remind me of Christ. But I don't need to identify you by any special Matthews or any special marks, because his word will be tattooed all over your heart. You will know me, and you will 
will find you where the boldness of Esther meets the warm closeness of Ruth, where the hospitality of Lydia is aligned with the submission of Mary, which is engulfed in the tears of a praying Hannah. I will be the one drenched in Proverbs 31, waiting for you. But to my father, my father who has known me before I was birthed into this earth, only if you should be fit. I desire your will above mine. So even if you call me to a life of singleness, my heart is content with you, the one who was sent. Mm -hmm. You are the greatest love story ever mm -hmm. told, the greatest love ever known. You are forever my judge. I'm your mm -hmm. forever witness. And I pray that I'm mm -hmm. always found about my father's business. I will always be yours. And I will always wait for you, Lord. More than the watchman mm -hmm. waiting for the morning, I will wait. 